Hello everyone, you are watching Sahib Academy. If you like our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon for the regular updates and also follow us on Instagram, Sahib Academy. Now let's go to the video. Hi everyone, this is the second video of stock levels topic of material costing chapter. Now in the previous video, first video of stock level chapter, we have discussed the concept of stock level, the concept of inventory control, and we have also seen the formulas of reorder level, maximum level, average level, yes, everything we have seen. Yes, now here in this video, we are going to solve this problem. See here, it's a very simple problem. Calculate reorder level, maximum level, minimum level, and average level from the following information. So here we have been given this information. See here, reorder quantity, 1500 units, reorder period, four to six weeks. Now what is reorder period? Reorder period means what? It means lead time, isn't it? Lead time, yeah, that is what is reorder period. Yeah, how much time does it take the supplier to deliver the materials when you order, right? That is the reorder period. And then we have got maximum consumption, that is 400 units per week, normal consumption, 300 units per week. Now, what is normal consumption? We didn't discuss normal consumption in the previous video. Normal consumption is nothing but average consumption. Yeah, normal consumption means what? It is average consumption. Understood? Right. Then we have got minimum consumption, 250 units per week. Fine. So now first we have to calculate the reorder level. What's the formula of reorder level? See here, reorder level is equal to maximum consumption into maximum lead time. That's the formula. So we have that maximum consumption. See here, 400 units per week. And then maximum lead time is what? Six, isn't it? See here, reorder period. This is the lead time. Now four is the minimum lead time, minimum reorder period. And six is the maximum lead time or maximum reorder period. So take six, maximum lead time, right? So 400 into six that is equal to 2400 yeah so 2400 units is the reorder level when our stock reaches at this level at 2400 units what are we going to do we are going to place a fresh new order right that is what is reorder level then we have to calculate maximum level now what's the formula of maximum level you remember see here it's a big formula right that's how we remember it see here maximum level is equal to reorder level rol plus ROQ, yes, there is an extra element in the formula of maximum level. Yeah, maximum level is the bigger formula. So it has extra element that is called ROQ, reorder quantity, minus minimum consumption into minimum lead time. We have all the information we need. We have reorder level, we just calculated that 2400 units, take that. And then we have reorder quantity also given in the question, reorder quantity that is 1500 units, fine, minus, minus, then in the bracket what you have to take minimum consumption into minimum lead time minimum consumption is 250 units so 250 and then minimum lead time that's the reorder period minimum is what four weeks so four simple so just solve it it's very simple first do the brackets 250 into four that is equal to thousand yeah thousand and then 2400 plus 1500 see here 2400 plus 1500 that is equal to 3900 isn't it yes so 3900 now minus 1000 3900 minus 1000 that is equal to 2900 yeah 2900 units is the maximum level when our stock reaches at this level 2900 units we don't make any orders and we don't let our inventory go above this level yeah if our inventory goes above this maximum level then we would be incurring unnecessary extra costs yes that would be a wastage Yes, then we have to calculate minimum level. Yeah, minimum level. Yes, so the formula of minimum level is very simple. Yeah, just the shorter version of maximum level formula. See here, you are going to take the same thing, reorder level. Yeah, minimum level is equal to reorder level minus, we don't take ROQ. Yeah, this is the shorter formula, small formula. So reorder level directly minus, then in the bracket, what do you take? You don't take minimum consumption, minimum lead time. Here you take, average consumption into average lead time understood so see here reorder level we have reorder level right what's the reorder level reorder level is 2400 we calculated that right minus average consumption now do we have average consumption given in the question yes we have average consumption means what normal consumption that is 300 units per week yeah so take that normal consumption 300 units per week yeah 300 units that's the normal consumption or you can also call it as average consumption so 300 into 5 now what is this 5 this is the average lead time now do we have average lead time given in the question no we have minimum lead time 
and maximum lead time yeah the reorder period minimum reorder period and maximum reorder period now average lead time is what just the average of those two minimum plus maximum divide by two minimum is four weeks maximum is six weeks add those two together four plus six that is ten yeah four plus six that is ten divided by two that is equal to five yeah five so five weeks is what average lead time understood so simple that is five so 2400 minus in the bracket what you have today average consumption normal consumption 300 and average lead time that's five 300 into 5 that is 1500 yeah 1500 and 2000 2400 yeah so see here 2400 minus 1500 that is equal to 900 so 900 units would be our minimum level we don't let our inventory fall below the minimum level if we do that if that happens if our inventory fall below the minimum level then our production can be interrupted yes yes so this is the minimum level it's very simple to calculate yeah then we have to calculate average level yes so how do we go about average level average level formula is see we have got two formulas of average level isn't it yes if you have watched the previous video then you would know that we have two formulas yeah see here average stock level we have one formula that is minimum stock level plus half of roq and another alternative formula is maximum stock level plus minimum stock level divided by two now in exam you can you know calculate average stock level through any of these two formulas okay there is no hard and fact rule that you have to calculate average stock level with one of those formulas no you can use any formula this or this yeah the answer would be different but still you will get marks understood so now here i have used this first formula okay that is minimum stock level plus half of roq what is average stock level whatever that is normally would be there in our warehouse now minimum stock will always be there yeah whatever the quantity that is there below minimum stock level that would always be there and then we can say that half of what we order each and every time that will also be there it is just an assumption right so this is the formula that's the logic behind it so minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity right so that's the formula i have used over here in the solution see here minimum level plus half of roq that's how we are going to calculate the average level now minimum level we have already calculated it over here yes that is 900 units so 900 plus half of reorder quantity now reorder quantity is already given in the question yeah reorder quantity is how much 1500 so take half of that 1500 into 1 by 2 yeah half of that so see here 1500 divide by 2 yeah half that is equal to how much 750 that is equal to 750 so 750 and then here 900 yeah minimum level so just add those two together simple 900 plus 750 that gives us 1650 1650 1650 would be our average level simple as that yeah if we do the other formula yeah which formula is that the second formula see here maximum stock level plus minimum stock level divided by two if we use that formula see here this is the minimum level this is the maximum level we are finding out average level yeah that's the another formula just take an average see here maximum is 2900 and plus the minimum level is 900 plus 900 that is equal to 3800 3800 divided by 2 that is equal to 1900 yeah we get average level as 1900 you see this we are getting two different answers if we go with the first formula we are getting this answer 1650 if we are following the second formula that's the average of these two 2900 plus 900 divided by 2 we get 1900 isn't it so don't worry whatever answer you get from each of those formulas both are right okay both are right you will get the marks don't worry fine easy right so this is how you have to calculate the stock levels it's very very simple understood